Conger Eel Secret Weapon Bioluminescent Lures The Conger Eel, a formidable predator of the oceanic depths, possesses a truly remarkable hunting strategy. These eels are masters of ambush predation, often lurking within crevices and caves along reefs and rocky seabeds. They remain incredibly still, blending seamlessly with their surroundings sometimes for hours at a time. Their mottled coloration provides excellent camouflage, allowing them to virtually disappear from view. When unsuspecting prey ventures close enough, the conger eel explodes into action with surprising speed. It's an incredibly efficient technique, relying on patience and explosive bursts of power to secure its meals. They primarily target fish and crustaceans, but aren't picky eaters anything that wanders within striking distance is fair game. The deep ocean is a realm of perpetual darkness, and many creatures have evolved incredible ways to survive in it. Bioluminescence, the ability to produce light, is incredibly common, often used as a way to attract unsuspecting prey. But conger eels take this strategy to an entirely new level. They don't simply use bioluminescence, they actively cultivate it. These eels harbor special pockets within their barbelstow's whisker. Like projections near their mouths where they nurture colonies of bioluminescent bacteria. Imagine tiny, living light bulbs growing right on the eel itself. The eel controls this process, essentially farming these bacteria to create mesmerizing lures that draw in smaller fish and crustaceans. It's a truly remarkable example of symbiosis and an ingenious adaptation to life in the deep sea. Unlike some deep, sea creatures that glow with their own bioluminescence, conger eels have a clever workaround for creating light. They don't actually produce it themselves. Instead, they cultivate tiny bacteria within specialized pouches located near their mouths. These pouches act like miniature ecosystems, providing the perfect environment food, and shelter for these luminous bacteria to flourish. It's truly remarkable these eels effectively create a living lamp, using the bacterial glow to attract unsuspecting prey into striking distance. The relationship is symbiotic, the eel gets light, and the bacteria get a safe haven and sustenance. This fascinating adaptation highlights just how resourceful nature can be. This fascinating relationship highlights a truly remarkable partnership between the conger eel and tiny bacteria. Inside a specialized pouch on its chin, these bacteria thrive, receiving a constant supply of nutrients from the eel's tissues, essentially a built-in buffet. In return for this safe haven and sustenance, the bacteria produce bioluminescence, creating a gentle, ethereal glow. This alluring light acts as a living lure, drawing in smaller fish and crustaceans that are otherwise wary of approaching a large predator like the conger eel. It's an incredible example of mutualism. Both species benefit significantly from their close association. The conger eel's hunting strategy is truly remarkable. These eels possess specialized organs called bioluminescent lures, usually located near their chin. They don't just glow, they produce a very specific kind of light, a soft blue-green hue. This isn't random either, it's carefully calibrated to mimic the natural bioluminescence of smaller organisms commonly found in their deep sea environment. Crustaceans and small fish, instinctively drawn to these familiar signals, are effectively tricked into approaching closer. It's an ingenious deception 
that gives the eel a significant advantage when ambushing its prey. What's truly remarkable about conger eels is their mastery of bioluminescence. They don't just produce light, they control it with incredible precision. Think of it as a dimmer switch for their glow, they can subtly adjust the intensity to suit their needs. When hunting, this allows them to dim their lights significantly, becoming almost invisible as they stalk prey in the shadows. Conversely, if food is scarce or distant, they'll amplify their bioluminescence, essentially creating a living lure that attracts unsuspecting meals from surprisingly far away. It's an elegant adaptation, demonstrating just how resourceful these eels are. This bacterial partnership isn't something conger eels are born with, it's something they acquire during their early lives. Young eels, particularly vulnerable to disease, rely on these bacteria for protection and digestion. They pick up these beneficial microorganisms primarily through two roots direct contact with other eels. Imagine them rubbing against each other in a nursery area or by swimming through seawater that's already populated with the necessary bacterial colonies. It's an incredible example of symbiotic transmission one generation passing on crucial resources to the next, ensuring their survival and success within this complex marine ecosystem. The reliance on these bacteria highlights just how interconnected life is beneath the waves. It's truly remarkable how much control a conger eel has over its lure. It's not just about having it, it's about using it effectively. The eel can subtly shift the position of this bioluminescent tip, even slightly altering its shape, bending it to the side, angling it upwards, or dimming and brightening the light. This fine tuning allows them to present an incredibly convincing target for unsuspecting prey. Think of it like a fisherman adjusting their bait to match what the fish are feeding on. The eel is doing something similar adapting its lures presentation based on water currents, surrounding shadows, and even the likely behavior patterns of potential meals. It's a constant process of adjustment, ensuring that the lure appears as irresistible as possible. Most eels possess small pouches near their gills, used for various purposes like storing food or sensing chemicals in the water. However, what's fascinating about conger eels is that we're seeing differences across populations regarding the size of these pouches. Some groups have noticeably larger pouches than others. This variation hints at a remarkable adaptation it suggests they might be evolving to suit different feeding strategies or even respond to varying light levels in their environment. For example, eels with larger pouches could potentially process bigger meals more efficiently, or perhaps they're better equipped for sensing subtle changes in water chemistry when hunting specific prey. The precise reasons are still being investigated, but it's a clear indication of the conger eel's adaptability and resilience. It's truly remarkable how evolution can shape even a predator that might initially appear quite basic. Consider the conger eel's hunting strategy it utilizes bioluminescence to lure unsuspecting prey. The eel produces its own light, often from bacteria living within specialized pouches near its head, and subtly flickers this glow to mimic smaller organisms or create an illusion of safety in the dark depths. This isn't just a random occurrence, it's a finely tuned adaptation developed over millennia. 
It demonstrates that even creatures we might consider simple have evolved incredibly complex and effective solutions for survival. The ability to generate light and use it as a hunting tool is a testament to the power of natural selection, showing how seemingly small advantages can lead to extraordinary capabilities.